welcome to Arabesque Agenda, the show that will let you know all the fun, exciting, inspiring and interesting events that are coming up in the arts and culture life of the UK and the Middle East. First up, let's take a look at what's on in the UK. Out in the west country of the UK and the city of Bristol, the Bristol Palestine Film Festival hits the cinemas with a range of compelling films. Looking at life both inside and outside of Palestine, the festival will feature urgent and at times devastating features and documentaries from Palestinian directors living in Gaza, the West Bank, Jordan, Dubai and the United States. With a variation of topics, they will cover everything from the struggle of the everyday life to sexual abuse of women to big campaigns looking to break a broken system. The festival opens midweek and goes on until Tuesday the 16th of December. To find more information on where to get tickets for the film and events taking place, go to bristolpff.org.uk. Turn of a roaringly successful three-day market in London, the Festive Souk is taking place this week. Featuring designers and vendors, both new and returning, you are sure to find gems in this three-day event. There's, among others, Kashuli, the London-based company reinventing Palestinian embroidery and textiles, and of course, the ever-growing olive oil company from Palestine, Zaytoun. I know I can't use any other olive oil but the one from Palestine anymore, so I'm definitely going so I can stack up. You can check these and many other exciting products this week until Saturday 6th of December. For more information, hit the button for arabbritishcenter.org.uk. Bringing together scholars from the Middle East and from the West and from the entire globe is the first round of the Ginkgo Conference. The conference is designed to complement the Ginkgo Library, a project to publish 100 books over the next 10 years, presenting the latest work in both Arabic and English across the full range of humanities. This first ever conference will be focusing on the effects of the First World War on the Middle East and will feature prominent speakers from all corners of the world and universities. The conference takes place at the SOAS in London on Saturday 6th and Sunday 7th December. And for more information, go to theginkolibrary.com. Now let's go to all the way to the Middle East and check out what's happening there. Downtown Beirut shall become a mecca for bookworms this coming weeks when the Beirut International Arab Book Fair hits the Leisure Center. Organized by the Arab Culture Club and the Union of Publishers in Lebanon, the 58th edition of the International Book Fair will offer a wide range of Arab books and exhibitions, covering every conceivable topic, and including seminars, poetry readings and honoring ceremonies. This feast for the eye and imagination is taking place at the Beirut International Exhibition and Leisure Center right now and until Thursday the 11th of December. For more information, go to BealCenter.com. The legendary Lebanese soprano Majida El Rumi is hitting the stage in Amman, Jordan. The legendary singer was first recognized in 1974 after her participation on a television talent show that shot her to fame. Commonly known in the Arabic region as the Artist of Elites, she is one of the most successful Arabic singers alive. Majida will be hitting the high notes on Friday the 12th of December and for tickets and information just call the Jordanian number beside me 078-7309-000. Now it's time to take a look at our Arabesque Recommended Episode of the Week. Going back a few episodes, we recommend you this week to visit, if you haven't already, our exclusive interview with singer and musician Sami Youssef. The Irani-British Azerbaijani singer has rapidly become one of the world's most beloved artists with his own flavor of blended music, Spiritique. Check out our inspiring interview with him where we talk about music, life, love and everything in between on levant.tv slash arabesque. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope your diary will allow you to visit one of these wonderful works and that you will have a great evening. See you next week for more tips on where to see the best event from the Middle East and North African communities here in the UK and in the Middle East. Till then, take good care.